well students i believe all of you are uh, keeping well we were studying last day regarding the continuity of a function and today we are moving forward with a certain examples during the last day's class we have seen that if a function is continuous only when we can draw its graph without lifting the pen or pencil from the surface of the notebook which means the graph is always continuous only when we can finish or sketch the graph in a single stretch that is what we are writing down in another way as a first line if a function is continuous at a fixed point if its graph around that point can be drawn without lifting the pen from the plane of the surface so that is extremely important if you are able to draw the graph without lifting the pen from the surface of the notebook then definitely the graph will be continuous now the same sentence and the same concept we are going to speak using mathematical concept that it becomes this way if f is a real function and c is a point in the domain the f is continuous at c if the left hand limit is equal to the right hand limit and f c is equal to the limit of the function check the sentence once more before we go to the main point f is a real function real function means a real value function both the domain and the range could be real numbers so f is a real value function and c is a point in the domain so we are going to take a real number and going to check whether the function is continuous at a c at any real number then there are two different conditions needed the first condition says that the left hand limit and the right hand limit should be equal that is what you are writing down left hand limit is equal to right hand limit second condition the limit of the function when you find the limit of the function left hand limit and the right hand limit should be remaining same and that value becomes the limit of the function and this limit should be equal to fc the value of the function so two different main concepts the value of the function should be equal to the limit of the function that is the second condition and before this case we found that the left hand limit and the right hand limit should be the same and the same line that we are going to make a single line it becomes this way the left hand limit is equal to right hand limit is equal to the value of the function at the point this also we can just write in another way when the left hand limit is equal to the right hand limit this becomes a limit of the function that is what we see the bottom line limit x tends to c f of x is sigma of c so this sentence is enough for all this explanation limit x tends to c f of x is sigma of c what does it mean the limit of the function and the value of the function will remain the same then the function will be continuous at c check on the right hand side column there is an example 
check the continuity of f given by f of x is equal to x square plus 1 and x is equal to 0. So, this is a question regarding the continuity of a function. We need to verify or check whether the function is continuous at x is equal to 0. And its answer has been written down just below that. We carefully check it once. What we have done at the beginning, we are finding the limit of the function. Remember that here now f of x is equal to x square plus 1 is a polynomial function. So we can easily find the limit by the direct way. So limit extends to 0 f of x is equal to limit extends to 0 x square plus 1. When you find the limit, the limit becomes limit extends to 0 x square plus 1 is equal to 0 square plus 1 that becomes 1 or generally speaking the limit of the function becomes 1. Then f of x is equal to x square plus 1 I need to find the value of the function when x is equal to 0 so f0 is equal to 0 plus 1 is simplified that becomes 1. So ultimately we are writing down as limit extends to 0 of f of x that becomes f0. All these values are remaining same. Remember that here the limit when you calculate we are not finding the left hand and right hand separately. Directly we can go for. But even if you go for a left and the right, the same answer, the same result will be there. So here what we have seen f of 0 and f of x having the limit equal to 1 in both cases. So as a result now, the limit of the function is equal to the value for the function or f is continuous at x is equal to 0. Two more examples, but their answers are not given. You need to try at your home ones. Check the continuity of f of x given by f of x is equal to sin x and x is equal to pi by 2. When x is equal to pi by 2, we are asked to find the limit of the function f of x. How do you do? The same process, f of x is equal to sin x. You find the limit of the function at x is equal to pi by 2, that becomes limit x tends to pi by 2, f of x is equal to sin pi by 2, sin pi by 2 becomes sin 90, sin 90 becomes 1. So the limit is 1. Now find the value for the function. So replace or remove your x by pi by 2. f of pi by 2 is equal to sine of pi by 2. That becomes again 1. The limit of the function is 1. The value for the function is 1. Both are same. Therefore the function is continuous at x is equal to pi by 2. Another example. Check the continuity of f of x is equal to x square plus 1 when x is less than 0 f of x is equal to 1 minus x square when x is more than 0 and f of x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 0 this you need to try as a homework for tomorrow and when you come back tomorrow for the class check it and try once and we are going to just get the answer by tomorrow and see whether we can do it well that's all for today